Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to play Yasuo in the mid lane in Season 11, guys. Now, quickly going over the best runes and build and everything, uh, we have the main keystone, which is the Conqueror, into Triumph, into Alacrity, into Coupe de Grace, also taking Taste of Blood with Revenous Hunter. As for the starter item, you always want to start with a Dorance Blade, and as for the skill order, you want to be maxing your Q first, then your E, and then your W. As last, and as for the entire full build of Yasuo, I'm gonna leave it all inside of the description below. So, with that being said, let's actually get started. All right, so the way how you play Yasuo in mid lane uh, depends a lot on the matchup. Now, we're actually playing against Katarina here, which is a pretty good matchup for Yasuo. Uh, does really depend on the way how Katarina plays it. We're gonna be playing this. Um, we're gonna be playing really aggressive in this lane. I'm gonna be trying to like snowball this lane a lot. This is definitely like a lane that we can snowball very hard in the early game. She's gonna Q right there. Oh, she doesn't deal. But yeah, generally like the way, um, depending on the matchup that you're up against, you might want to play like very defensive or very aggressive. Now, Katarina, uh, specifically, this matchup can be played in both ways. You gotta play it really smart. So yeah, technically, like you want to be focusing around hitting your Qs around your um, around Katarina. Like every time she goes for a CS, you kind of want to try to like drop down um, a Q on her. Make sure you avoid uh, the complete um, trades by Katarina, as they're going to be hurting a lot. They also have a Shaco in the jungle, uh, which is a champion I'll have to be very careful about because he can gank mid very easily. I'm gonna reset this lane. I have to get my um, my lane into a good position now. Shaco could come around anytime. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna reset this lane. I'm gonna make sure to actually have this lane be pushing to me so that Shaco doesn't gank me like that. Keep in mind that if you're playing Yasuo, that escaping like um, backwards is pretty hard. You do have like a lot of mobility through the creeps, but you can't just you know run back easily. On the Shaco, just sh pops on you right behind you. All right, time to put this lane into like a freeze position. Very good. Having this lane around this position allows for easy uh, setups. Also, very good for uh, avoiding Shaco. Nice. I still have my Ignite as well, which is pretty huge. Let's push this. Alright, great. I'm gonna push it, um, I'm gonna take one more. Shaco is currently into the river jungle. I have to reset this. Alright, let's get back. Uh, he's in a pretty bad position. Anyways, guys, some people, like, most of you guys might think that Yasuo is pretty bad in season 11 because, you know, the items are changed and everything. Um, what if I told you that. Yasuo in Season 11 is really not that bad at all. At, at least that's... Most people say it's bad, but it's actually not. Um, for instance, we had the Rageblade item, which got nerfed completely, right? It doesn't work on Yasuo anymore. Um, now we actually have the Immortal Shield Bow. Like, once again, guys, the entire full build is inside the description. Uh, but anyway, we have the Immortal Shield Bow. Instead of buying Phantom Dancer, like most people do, we're actually going to be building an Infinity Edge afterwards to maximize the damage. And then getting a Bloodthirster after. This is actually a pretty good core build for Yasuo currently. Believe it or not, this is like the go-to build that you want to be going for now. Alright. I have the lane in a decent position. I actually want the lane to be pushing towards me uh, for Shaco, but... Um, it is fine the way it is now. Okay. Let's push this. We're gonna completely reset this thing. 
Gotta have to be very careful about Shaker though, because as he could show up anytime. Very good. I'm gonna place a ward down right here. So we can see Shaco coming from uh, from the top side. I'm gonna move I'm gonna position myself around the top side of mid lane. So if Shaco comes in, it will be clear. I think I'm gonna go for the push here. There we go. Oh, I can take them both. Oh, missed it. It's fine though. Let's see here. If I actually manage to hit that one. All right, we got her. Good, let's push. Great. I'm gonna take one plating and then we're gonna be backing off. Yeah, like typically this is the way how you wanna play Yasuo, guys. This is the kind of play style that you wanna have if you're playing Yasuo. You wanna take things safe. If you don't see the jungler, you don't wanna to play too aggressive. Uh, we can go for this one, and we can take this, and we can take that. Keep in mind, guys. Um, when you play Yasuo, when you play aggressive like this, you have to make sure where the jungle is going to be. Because if you play like this and he might show up in, on your back, you, you're going to die quickly. Alright, time to hold this wave like this. There we go, let's pop like an all-in on him. And we got him, let's back off again. We can take at least the next wave. You see guys, playing Yasuo, the thing is like most people play Yasuo in a super aggressive way and making a lot of mistakes and eventually going 0-10. It's becoming a meme right now. However, you just gotta play really smart. Alright. Honestly, I did not expect to thrash to roam. I was um, playing based on Katarina missing. Uh, however, to finish up uh, what I wanted to say, um, most people play Yasuo completely wrong because... Um, for instance, it's it's becoming a big meme that Yasuo goes 0-10 every game. Uh, the thing is, you got to play smart when playing this champion rather than playing just aggressive. That's the biggest mistake of people. They tend to play aggressive without knowing much where their jungler is and stuff like that. You gotta you you gotta play very um, coordinated, I guess. There's a lot more to this champion than just mechanics. Katarina is currently bot lane. I'll see if I can get like another uh, plating here. Very good. I can take another wave here. Katarina is coming back to the lane now. Uh, nice. All right, let's take it. I can also take this camp here as well. We can like constantly rotate mid and, and, and the camp now. He's probably going to try and do an attempt to steal. If we actually had some ganks from my Joan right now, that'd be ev even better. I want the wave to position back to me. Oh, whoops. I want the wave to go back to me so I can use that. We actually hit that one. I could kill for there.
Uh, might be able to get out of here. Okay, Shaco's here as well. I could have killed Katarina before when uh, Thresh was still here. I accidentally didn't take that one. Should have just pressed R immediately. But anyways, e either way, we still got Katarina. Thresh is also mid. Uh, well, Tristana is taking down plating, so it's still definitely worth for us. So next on, we have the Mortal Shield Bow now. Our next item is going to be an Infinity Edge. And once we have the um, Immortal Shield Bow with Infinity Edge, we're, we're going to be like really, really, really strong. Um, in terms of attack speed, having only a middle sh Shield Bow and Berserker Screech might not sound like that much, uh, but it's actually quite decent. It's a quite decent amount. Uh, right now, all we just need is Infinity Edge. And then the Bloodthirst after. You could also like fit in a Phantom Dancer if you want to. It's pretty. It's very situational. Although in my opinion, Phantom Dancer is not. Um, since the, the issue is that we now have the Mythic items, which are very important now, which play like a huge role as to why we can't really rush Phantom Dancer into the edge. Like we have to actually mix in like a Mythic item into it. But to see you guys, even with these two items alone, we already have a total of 1.77 uh, Q. Alright. I'll just let that be pushed in towards him and thresh his here again, I see. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with him too much. I just want to take this camp and get back to the lane. He's probably going to show up here. Alright, there we go. I'll just, just in case. Alright, I'm just going to bait for Camille now. It was a nice attempt at least. Alright. Got to be careful of Shaco now. I'll just take one more wave again. Never could sing. Very good. I'd actually like to take the red buff for my own too, but I don't want to troll my joner. So now we're going to be farming up for uh, towards my infinity edge, which will make it very strong. Um, once again, Fen you can also just buy Phantom Dancer immediately. We could even do that. Um, it kind of depends. It depends a lot. Alright. Look at this. This is just perfect to build. Currently. The thing is we can also buy... Like, it, it really depends. Because of the the perfection. The gain like 8% uh, eight crit chance. Um, the effect of the infinity is pretty good. If you buy the Phantom Dancer. So it's just very, very situational. Okay, let's push this. Nice. Now we got the turret. I think I'm... Nah, I'm not gonna push one more. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna make sure to be alive here. Alright. So, now we're going to be going for uh, for this item. I'm going to be buying that. I'll also take um, this one and this one. Now, in my opinion, um, rushing, or well, in, in the current state of the patch notes, like, Immortal Shield Bow is a pretty good item. Phantom Dancer afterwards, it, it is pretty good, but you're kind of, like, missing out the damage. Um, if you are going for Infinity Edge... Uh, it will give you like a pretty like large amount of damage and if you go for like a bloodthirst or afterwards something that gives crit as well um, That will finish off the build All right, that's being pushed in Let's get down to the bot lane here. We're gonna be going for the, for the dragon We should have this one. Oh! 
Okay. Kind of unfortunate. The the dragon has been reset. I was actually hoping to hit like all two of them, but the NATO has only hit one of them. There you go. Now we can we have a pretty good choice here. We can either go for pickaxe or we can go for uh for even more crit chance. Now in my opinion, um if you're this is actually pretty good on Yasuo. Kinda of depends. I think we just go for the crit. Yeah, we're just gonna go for the crit here. Just so we can have more chance. But yeah, once you get the uh, Bloodthirster, this item, it finishes off everything. This is just a really good item at the moment. Alright, let's push mid. And then see if we can rotate top. The only thing I'm missing out currently is the fact that the Q is only 1.54 right now. It's not 1.33. But we just have to adapt for temporarily until Ryasa gets like a better item set. Because the item build currently is not that strong. Charge up that. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, here we go. Would have been pretty sweet if he could throw in like an ultimate now. Nice. We will just have to push mid for now, at least for now, until we get like a decent uh, group up now. I'd actually like to push mid and then rotate towards top and see if I can do anything there, but so far people have got caught, so... I kind of need Tristana to be coming over here as well until, like, as long as she shows up, uh, doesn't come here, then we can't do much. Alright. You will have my item very soon, I just need to get, like, 600 more. Shaco might be here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he stops that. But there might be other people here. I'm gonna do like an attempt to go top here. I think he's gonna get away though. I really need to have my teammates group up around here. Olaf is currently farming bot lane, so we can definitely um, set up something. I'm not sure if he does have TP or not. I haven't seen really TP yet. I'm gonna go ball in now. Gonna have to stop that Olaf from just farming everything. Okay. They're doing good. Olaf Olaf is just gone now. I don't wanna walk past the, the jungle because he could be sitting there. Oh, whoops. I accidentally missed that one. That's going to delay my infinity edge. Okay, let's take this. Very good. I need one more wave and then we can get back in my infinity edge and probably get like a blood thirst after. I don't know why he just pressed heal there. I don't know, but <laughs> whatever. That was strange. Okay, let's uh, let's actually reset now. Now we can actually get my infinity edge. Nice. So our next item is uh, going to be the infinity edge. I mean uh, the bloodthirster now. So we need these. Um, th the build pad of this item is also pretty good. What I like about this setup in general is it gives us like so much uh, so much life steal. So much sustain. It also makes you a little tanky because of the shield, just a little bit. Hmm. Alright, that's so unfortunate.
Hmm. They both got away. Well, Katarina has gone down eventually, but... Not exactly what the way how we wanted to, at least. Okay, let's take this real quick. And we're gonna go to this old app. Thank you very much. Let's push up all the way to the turret here. Great. Now we can get this one away. Uh, I'm not really that scared of anyone coming top right now. I can pretty much 1v1 anybody. Nice. Let's get back here. So now we're going to be building this item. There we go. Let's uh, sell this away. I nearly got my longsword as well, so I'll just get that too. Alright, good. Let's go back mid lane. We're going to be pushing mid completely, and then we're going to rotate towards the dragon. So by pushing mid lane, we create like space across the map to actually go dragon as well. Alright, here we are. There's currently four people in the bot lane. Alright. There we go. Just gonna get pushed in there. I don't know what the the team is doing currently. We got that camp. Let's go over here, check out the other camps as well. Hopefully there's a uh, that one's already been taken, alright. Katarina's also showing up there. Just We just want to keep on farming. Like, as long as nothing is happening across the entire map, we just want to keep on farming up. Keep, see, like, taking jungle camps and everything from the enemy team. Okay, let's take this one as well. Just in case Thresh is being there. Let's go back mid. Jin's currently top side, so that means uh, they're not fully grouped here. Okay, let's see. We're, we're pretty getting pretty close to that item as well. It would be so good if Tristana actually came with us as well. Would actually be great. Perfect. Just placing down the wall in case. Just in case. I'll just wait for my wind wall to come back at least. I need it pretty badly. Alright. Oh, I could have pressed my arm on that one. Could have. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Made a mistake. Wow, I made a terrible mistake there on accident. There we go. Alright. Let's go back mid, push it out completely. We could have technically do the Baron now. Yeah, we could do it now. Camille should be able to survive that one. We can just take this. Not gonna lie guys, I made a terrible mistake there, not actually getting my ultimate off and accidentally not my EQ. I was paying my attention to like something else. Okay, so we're gonna get back to base now. We're going to be getting this a Bloodthirster and we will... Um, my next item will probably be something that's gonna allow me to survive everything, which... Um, just gonna be getting this now. My next item is probably going to be a Guardian's Angel to survive everything else that they have here. My honor left a, long time ago. a Death Stance is also pretty good. 
Look how tanky we are right now. And the Q is about 1.33. Now we gotta push this all the way here at least, and then we're gonna be rotating mid. I think we could 1v1 anybody right now, because we're super strong. The attack speed is maybe not that high, but it's it's okay because the Q is like 1.33, so. I'm going to flank these guns from behind. He went that way. If I actually hit that one, I would press R. If Camille hit that, what would have pressed Ulna too? Nice. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a huge play here. Hmm. Not really what I was looking into. Just waiting for Gregor's ultimate. We're super tanky now. Using it. Okay. Very good. I can live to myself back up through. Uh... Okay. Clean. Very clean. Now we can get to the inhibitor. I think we could even maybe get more turrets. But you see guys, you see what this build is capable of. You see what this is capable of. There's so much you can do. Well, I'd like to continue pushing with Camille together, but um, they were spawning very soon. He doesn't take that risk. I'd actually, um, I'm just gonna move towards the dragon now. I'll take that with the team together because I don't want the enemy team to get a chance to take the dragon down. Good. Very good. Now we're gonna go back here. We will grab a guardian's angel. Now, as for the last item, I think I will probably get a death stance to survive the team fights uh, for at least a little longer. Because uh, the death stance, the the effects on it are pretty good. He barely does like any damage on this thing. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. All right, we got him. Let's push this. He's not here. Now we can just continue to push. I think we can just one-fill with anybody right now. Take this wave as well. All right, let's take this. They're all coming here, but I think we can beat them all quite easily. Alright. Let's get the turrets. I've got my Guardian's Angel. Oh, whoops. Alright. Accidentally eat away. Because I thought it was going to be a hook. Anyways, guys. This is pretty much how you play Yasuo in the bit lane in Season 11 with my build. Uh, thank you for watching today. Uh, if you guys actually want to see like challenge gameplay from me live on stream. I'm streaming like six times a week. So don't forget to check that out, guys. Uh, and with that being said. Hey, thank you for being here. I'm going to catch you guys up next time.
Peace.